we're also one of uh, the low cost providers when we compare ourselves with, with others across the country. Uh, there are many facilities that have come to take a look at our facility. Uh, after they've done that, they comment about the facility, what a wonderful place it is, but they often comment on our staff. What a wonderful staff you have and how focused they are on patient care and giving quality services to those we serve. The Vera Behavioral Health Center has been here for uh, a little over 10 years now. 24 hours a day we have folks here who are master's level counselors, social workers, and psychiatric nurses. They assist people who are referring individuals to our center and they also assist individuals who walk in. Those walk-ins can occur at any time of the day or night. What we do is help uh, assess their level of need, what type of service they need, and then help them get to that program. We have over 9,000 calls a year for services and we do also over 6,000 face-to-face assessments per year. So if someone comes to our facility and needs an assessment, uh, we would greet them at the, the front reception area and then we would come in here for an intake interview. It's a psychosocial history with a special emphasis upon psychiatric history. That information is then compiled and provided to our on-call psychiatrist who then would make a decision about whether the person needs to be admitted or if we could refer to outpatient care. We have five inpatient units ranging from child and adolescent, special units for each age group, and then three adult units. We also have a geriatric program which is located on the Avera Prince of Peace campus in southeastern Sioux Falls. Altogether in this building we have 110 inpatient beds across these five inpatient units. In the public areas of the Avera Behavioral Health Center, we have about 32 pieces of commissioned artwork done by regional artists. This building has a theme verse that comes out of Psalms that was chosen by our sisters, by the Benedictine and Presentation Sisters, who are our sponsors. That verse out of Psalms 139 talks about, I will rise on the wings of the dawn and wherever I go, you'll be there with me. So the artist translated that theme, Wings of the Dawn, into birds, doves, kites, and, and those kinds of themes within the commissioned artwork. This is one of a series of four paintings by Mary Goth, and what she's done is uh, she's put hope in a, a, the primary languages that are spoken here at the Vera Behavioral Health Center. Uh, this is hope in Lakota. And here we have hope in Spanish with the symbolism of the, the wings of the dawn with the kite and the butterfly symbolism. Hope in English. And lastly, hope in Arabic. This is the group room classroom on our child unit. Uh, it, it is a classroom for kids ages 4 through about 12 that get served on our program. And so every day the kids are in here doing crafts, they're doing academic work. So a lot of things occur in this room, uh, in including teaching social skills. We have uh, things that we remind kids of. They earn points by doing good things to each other and uh, for themselves while they're here. This is our On the Wings of the Dawn stage that staff designed and constructed here on the children's unit. Theme of uh, hope with our butterflies. So a variety of speakers come in and present. Uh, we've had folks do a variety of uh, good things for our kids, including puppeteering and musical instrument shows. This is another one of our pieces of original commissioned artwork. This one's done by James Starkey. It's entitled Hope. James Starkey, as a Native American artist, wanted to make certain that he knew the orientation of our building so that when he did the sunrise, it's on the right there, that that's oriented to the east, which it is. And it was very important that we have this painting in a location uh, by the area where we do serve a number of Native American adolescents, but also that we honor and recognize James' request for the placement of this painting to be done correctly and according to his wishes. There's hope for individuals who have psychiatric disorders and we want them to seek treatment and uh, wherever that might be and uh, we want them to feel better because they will feel better after being in treatment.